This episode is sponsored by Google Play with the help of Legends of Runeterra. In a world where the only thing worse than a movie tie-in video game is a video game tie-in movie. Oh, nah, I done seen everything. Sega Studios will... Wait, Sega Studios? Slow your roll. A Sonic movie is one thing, but what's next? Echo the Dolphin? Streets of Rage? Actually, that sounds pretty rad. I'm in. Sega Studios will crack the game movie code by making it star a quick furry animal, making them a cop, or partnering them up with one. And okay, I'll say it, making a faster, bluer version of Detective Pikachu. Hey, it wouldn't be a Sega project if they weren't riffing on something Nintendo did first. Sonic the Hedgehog. Meet Son- What is that? No, gross, bad. I want that thing gone, you hear me? Gone! Whew, close call. Meet Sonic the Hedgehog, a not at all horrifying creature. He'll star in a movie so nice they made it twice. Because for the first time in internet history, an angry mob of nerds actually made something better. No matter how much pain and sweat it took for the animators to hit the release date. Man, that must have cost a fortune. I wonder where they found the money. Apartments for rent I found on Zillow. In the Olive Garden. Because when you're there, you're family. Can you believe Amazon is going to deliver packages with these things? Make his a mellow yellow, please. Call Optical Illusions. Tell them I need new frames. Have you tried their never ending pasta bowl? It never ends. Wow, all these product placements, and they didn't do the one that would actually fit. This is how you Sonic. The Sonic you've always known is back, which, if you're just a casual fan, means he's fast and he collects rings. Let's get fast. Nailed it. But if you got sucked in to all the other Sonic media, you're gonna have to be satisfied with a chili dog joke here and there. Oh, that's awful. What did you eat? I think it's called a chili dog. While those of us in the erotic Sonic fan art community have to make do with a bare minimum. You can't ignore us forever. Follow along with your hero as he hides in a cave for an entire decade, spying on everyone in town like the Pennywise of Montana. But when he's discovered after playing with himself a little too hard, He'll have to run to safety, and the only thing standing in his way is that he never shuts up and definitely needs to go on medication. I'm blending in like a ball. Shh, stop talking. No, you stop talking. Be quiet, Sonic. You be quiet, Sonic. Sonic 1, a big tank zero. Is he flossing? He's flossing, isn't he? Sonic's not the only relic of the 90s along for the adventure. There's also Jim Carrey, because everyone knows he's the guy to call when you need to track down a rare animal. <laughs> And protecting Sonic all the while is James Marsden, the only actor charming enough to film a whole movie with this creepy blue statue. He's done being America's secondest fiddle. I don't want to have to convince my fiance that she should be with me. Are you in love with him? He was Superman. This time, he's ditching his wife for a hedgehog as they set off on an unforgettable drive across the Pacific Northwest. Yep, a movie about a character whose defining trait is how fast they move, and they stick him on a 20-hour ride to San Francisco. Gotta go fast! <laughs> Gotta go for 90 minutes, or we don't have a movie. So enjoy what's actually a very fun kid's picture, even though it, let's say, liberally borrows from a certain quick silvery X-Men. What? But they dangle enough tails and robotic stash at the end to make you excited for the next one. Unless they work in the music that plays when Sonic is running out of air, in which case I will have a panic attack. <laughs> Starring Lightning McQueen, James Marsden, friend to cartoon animals everywhere, Federal Marshal Bill, Dr. Dozlittle, and Stop or My Mom Will Hoot. Reanimator. Sure, toilet paper was all fun and games when they shot this, but today, this is considered an act of terrorism. Did you see how much toilet paper I used? <laughs> the next person that goes into that bathroom will have nothing to wipe with. Did you know all the Olive Garden plugs in Sonic were the writer's idea? Check out this Q&A with Sonic screenwriter Pat Casey. Plus, get some details from the potential sequel. It's a new interactive series called Hey Fandom, where the creative minds behind your favorite films and shows will answer your dumb questions. And it's on support of Direct Relief, providing protective equipment to medical professionals during the pandemic. Now, show some gratitude for the real heroes by clicking the link in the description below. This episode is sponsored by Google Play. Get Legends of Runeterra and discover more on Google Play. I'm never going to financially recover from this.
If you water water, it grows. Nothing is impossible, and I do nothing every day. Bazinga.